Hello everyone, my name is Max and I am an environment 3D artist. In this breakdown I will be showing you how I made my stylized scene. Initially I was planning to make only a vehicle model itself, but during the production process I realized that I would like to make a suitable environment for this car. The car from my scene is actually a toy, it's a children's car. As a reference, I selected a variety of images of similar toy cars. Uh, here you can see a character, an adult in this case, that is sitting behind the steering wheel. Final design is a compilation of different designs of uh, similar vehicles that I picked up from my reference images. My main tool during modeling process was Blender 3D. I had a character in my scene as a scale reference and I was building car around him. It was important for me to get proportions car from the very beginning. After some tweaking I was confident that I got my proportions right. Second step was to make a high poly model. I was using Blender's subdivision surface modifier to achieve smooth hard surface look in combination with bevel modifier that allowed me to have better control over support edges in my geometry. In order to add thickness to the vehicle body, I leveraged Blender's solidify modifier. Here I used edge split and solidify modifiers to create gaps where doors are supposed to be. I used the same technique to model trunk selection. You can also split edges by pressing V on your keyboard while in edit mode. When you press V, edges that you would like to split should be already selected. I initially I made the sides of the car pretty much flat. The shape wasn't suitable for the stylized look that I was after. And then I made them more round and it immediately felt right. I made the back of the car round as well to give it this retro look. And I made hood uh, a little smaller. All those small tweaks and changes made car more round and cute. As I was done with the car body, I added few details such as review mirrors, um, headlights, grill, steering wheel, bumpers, and so on. In order to create tire surface, I decided to use the brush. After importing my base geometry, I applied dynamic subdiv and dynamashed my model to get even geometry to work with. I used radial symmetry to make a tire pattern. Like this, for example. At the end, I got tire high poly model. Some parts of the model had mirror modifier active during the unwrapping process. Therefore, the UVs was also mirrored, which allowed me to save valuable texture space. When UVs was done, I baking out ambient occlusion and normal maps. To make baking process easier, I separated car on two, two baking groups. Each group had its own texture set. 
I haven't had any technical restrictions with this scene, so I decided to have two texture sets, but it completely up to you and a subject to a change if you have some text budget to meet. Now it's time to talk about texturing. I decided to texture my model with Substance Painter. To begin with I made base color layer and an additional layer with a different color that I'm going to mix with base layer with the help of grunge mask. In order to emphasize shapes even more, I decided to make additional layer with darker tone. I added a mask to this layer and a fill layer of this mask. After that, I added ambient occlusion map to it. I can adjust intensity of this layer with levels. I also added some additional color with curvature map to introduce some color variation. Important effect that I added on top of everything is a baked light in stylus layer. With this layer we can bake highlights from the light sources that are present in Substance Painter scene right onto a texture. This allows us to get interesting gradients and highlights that can contribute to the stylized look. The same filter was used for metal parts. As I said at the very beginning, my initial plan was to make just a car model and render it on a plain background. But as I was setting up light, to render my car model inside Mama Settle Back. I got this idea uh, that it will be very nice to put my car in some kind of beach environment. This was the moment when I decided to give my model some context. I wanted to make sense that will reflect feeling of holiday at the beach. Overall relaxed vibe that I got uh, when I was looking at this car. After some thoughts, process and research, I had an idea how my final scent should look. I listed out props that I need to make and gathered images from the internet to use them as references during the modeling and texturing stages. To model beach props as before, I was modeling with subdivision surface modifier. But for some details, I used floating geometry. Here, for example, and here. I decided not to make those props as exaggerated as a car, but I made sure that the silhouettes are slightly over blue. Portable fridge required some additional attention. I ran physical simulation to put ice cubes in place. Later I baked out those cubes onto a plane. I played this plane inside the fridge. Texturing process for beach props was pretty much the same as with the car. I mixed basic colors with additional colors using ambient occlusion as a mask. With the new version of Substance Painter, Substance Painter 2020, we got ability to apply different decals onto the models. Here I used spray paint tag tool. It's a very handy tool to place decals. I prepared image that I would like to apply to the fridge. In the decal setting I choose custom mask input. And I take my image into image input. Uh, this tool allow me to control color of the image, amount of paint dripping 
and splattering amount other parameters. If necessary, you can apply additional mask to this decal and mask out parts that you don't need. Now, when all props are ready, we can switch out attention to lighting and rendering. I placed model in a way that looked pleasing in my opinion. My goal was to create a small composition that will look interesting. I choose to use sand texture as a base for my diorama to support beach vibe that I was going for. I downloaded sand material from Substance Share. In order to get wavy sand pattern, I used heat map that was coming with this material. I activated displacement parameter in the sand material and placed displacement texture into displacement texture slot. I wanted my diorama to have circular shape. I painted a circular shaped mask and placed it in the transparency slot. That mask acted as an alpha mask for the scent, hiding parts of it that I didn't want it to be visible. I added fog to my scene to achieve a hazy evening look. My main light source is a directional light that acts as a sun. It immediately made my scene bright and joyful. The color of my light source and fog aren't natural. I made a conscious decision to use exaggerated value to achieve stylized look. Next step was to add rim light and some other random light sources to get more highlights on the car body. As it comes to render settings, I would like to highlight global illumination and local reflections as the most important parameter to switch on. This is it that was a short breakdown of my scene. Thank you for watching this video. I would like to say thank you to Starlight Station for the opportunity to tell you about my work. If you would like to see more of my stuff, you can visit my station page. Have a nice day, goodbye.